Get me out of here. I can't take these four walls, these bright lights, this constant state of being observed like a rat in a cage while totally cut off from the outside world. I'm done. I quit. I, what? Sequester room service? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll have the flamignon with a glass of Chardonnay. Thanks. Lock me up for the rest of the year and throw away the key. Ladies and gentlemen, internet, my name is Perdiam, and it is time we cover a very particular subject in the Big Brother world. Instead of dividing this into three vids, we're just gonna do it in one go. The bizarre history of Big Brother quitters, expulsions, and alternate players. It's a lot, and it goes in a lot of directions, least of all down a balcony by bathrobe, so... Let's get into it. Let's start with the quitters. These players all had a spot on a season of Big Brother in the cast and then bowed out. Some of them before they even walked through the front doors of the house. Now there's a lot of information from behind the scenes that we'll never truly know, so I apologize if I miss a detail or a name, but the first person on my list to exit stage left, pursued by Bear, or something, was James's secret duo partner on Big Brother 6, who was named Mike. Now we all know who James is, he went on to compete on the season, but originally he was going in with someone other than who he played with. His secret partner, Mike, was on the cast and was going into the game alongside him until at the very last second, Mike bowed out. We don't know why, we don't even know what he looks like, but we know what happened, and so instead James asked his girlfriend, Sarah, to join him, and she did. And the rest is history. Follow that up with Big Brother 9, the estranged winter season of the show taking place over Valentine's Day in 2008. A player by the name of Neil Garcia walked through the doors and was partnered up with another player, Joshua. Strange how these first quits involve partnering in a show where that doesn't happen very often. Neil randomly vanished after only a couple of episodes without ever having a diary room confessional aired to the audience. We barely know who the guy is, but unlike Mike, he at least made it through the front door. Big Brother called me into the diary room to inform me and the rest of the house that Neil will be leaving the game due to an urgent personal matter. Because this is a couple's game, I now need a replacement partner. Jacob, who is basically hated in the house, or Sharon, his partner, it was kind of a no-brainer. I went with Sharon. Three seasons later on Big Brother 12, we had another case of a player who was on the final cast of the season, but got cold feet at the last minute and never made it through the doors. Which is why we don't have any footage of this person, just a single photo. Paula Aviles was intended to be the 14th cast member of Big Brother 12, but rumors say that she dipped out because she realized just how exposed you become on the show with all of the cameras and the live feeds and she wasn't comfortable with it. If you notice how in the premiere episode of Big Brother 12, a single player, Andrew, is given immunity for sitting out of the first HOH. It's because the intended plan was to have there be two teams of seven competing, but with Paula quitting, it meant there were now two teams of six, with Andrew sitting out and being safe for the week. The following season, Big Brother 13, we saw, or didn't see in this case, Dick Donato returned for a second appearance after winning Big Brother 8, but before the live feeds had even turned on, he had apparently left the show. He did make it into a few of the episodes and drove a lot of the early action for the first week, basically operating as the brains of that veterans alliance, but then he was informed by the producers that he had test results returned and it turned out he had tested positive for HIV. Dick confirmed this himself years later after the season ended. Lastly, the final player to quit Big Brother was Megan from Big Brother 19. She quit the game in the middle of the first week of the season after she was targeted by several players and was verbally harassed. She had an incident occur where she mistakenly overheard someone say what she thought was a racial slur, which caused a lot of drama to unfold and in turn triggered Megan's PTSD. Megan decided it was best if she left the show for her own sake. And those are the players who quit Big Brother for one reason or another. Some made it through the front door, others didn't, but let's turn our attention now to the lesser known players, the invisibles of the show, the alternate players, the Beths of it all. Pretty much every season of Big Brother has had alternate players on standby in the event something goes wonky in the preseason before the players enter the house. The tricky part with alternate players is that we pretty much don't know any of them because we never see them. We hear stories, maybe get a name or two, we've heard some players were alternates for others who made it on a future cast. But the first alternate to ever show their face and make an appearance was one of the most peculiar of them all, and that is Beth 
from Big Brother season one. Yeah, way back in the year 2000, before the game we know even really began, we had Beth, the alternate potential player. Beth was brought onto the season at the final six when six people were still in the house, and the remaining six players were tempted with a bribe if any of them accepted $20,000 in hard cash on the spot, they would leave the game with it, and in turn, Beth would enter the season in their place. Why did the producers do this? Well, from what I've heard, the first season was widely panned and considered pretty boring of a show. The most interesting players all got voted out first for being eccentric or different, and I guess the country wasn't ready for that, since the country was voting people out, not the house guests. Beth was introduced as a competitive person who had strong opinions and was ready to shake things up. You can tell that's the case because she went go-karting with her boyfriend the weekend before she made an appearance on the show. Quality B-roll. But none of the players accepted the $20,000 offer, so the producers upped it to $50,000, and yet still the players turned away the cash. None of them chose the money. The experience of being in the house was priceless. And because none of them took the money, that was literally it for Beth. As quickly as she arrived, she left us. Like an apparition in the wind, too soon. I think my strongest personality trait is my determination. You know I'm gonna beat you, right? I don't like to lose. You'll probably either love me or hate me. <laughs> and here she is. Let's welcome Beth. Welcome back. I'm sitting here with Beth, who is not going in a Big Brother house. And I think they're all insane for not taking that money. <laughs> I would have walked, like, probably with the 20000 so wow. I think somebody's definitely insane for not taking what would have been third place. <laughs> but the good news is I did some internet sleuthing and found out she can actually be seen on the roller coaster safety instructions video at Universal Studios Orlando for the Jurassic World ride. I'm not joking, 20 years later, that's Beth. She was secretly a paleontologist all along. I love when a story has a satisfying conclusion. Beyond Beth, we have three minor alternate players from Big Brother 8, 13, and 14, Samantha, Jason, and Mike, who was a sailing instructor. Samantha appeared as a potential cast member in preseason interviews for Big Brother 8, but then mysteriously never made it on the season for unexplained reasons. Same thing for Jason on Big Brother 13. The rumor here is that the producers were able to cast three returning player duos, which meant they cut Jason at the last second to even the numbers a little. And then on Big Brother 14, we had Mike pop up in commercials for the season, but he never made it into the house. He said after the season premiere that he chose to not go on the show due to a recovering drug addiction, and he wasn't ready after all to be on national television. And that's it for the alternates. Really just Beth in a league of her own. So let's get to the final group, the juiciest of them all, the expulsions. The players who were forcibly removed from the game by the producers for all kinds of reasons, usually because they lose their shit. The most infamous of all of them is the first one. It's from Big Brother 2, it's Justin. Justin was removed in the first week after he got intoxicated alongside a woman in the house, Krista, in the kitchen. They were getting intimate, flirting with each other, and then Justin pulled out a knife and held it up to Krista's neck and played out someone's kink that doesn't have any business being on the show. It was incredibly jarring to watch as he bizarrely asked if he could kill kill her, and after the producers pulled him into the diary room, spoke to him for a while to see what he was thinking, realized he didn't really understand the severity of his actions soon after they pulled him from the game. On top of that, Justin was a reckless wild card. He threatened violence on other players too, would destroy objects in the house, and even peed on the windows. Thanks for that, Justin. Whenever I get caught in here, it's always a matter of like me getting like thrown off the show. It's like, Justin, you know. You can't beat nobody up, or Justin, you know, you know, you can't, like, sexually force yourself on somebody. After a lengthy consultation with the show's psychologist, producers were left with no choice but to expel Justin to protect the safety of the house guests. On Big Brother 4, we had two instances of players being expelled or removed from the cast, the obvious one being Scott, who entered the house and was surprised to find his ex-girlfriend, Amanda, also on the cast. Scott had a rocky history with her, and he began to quickly spiral after being locked up in a confined space. His past brought out the worst in him, and halfway into the first week, he really started losing it, saying weird statements about dancing like a puppet on street 
strings, throwing furniture around the backyard and inside the house, and potentially hurting other players as collateral for his actions. He became unstable, and the producers quickly pulled him from the game before anything more could happen. But an underreported expulsion, or perhaps I should say removal from the cast on Big Brother 4, was a player named Brandon Showalter. Brandon was confirmed to be on the cast, he wasn't an alternate, and he was locked in sequester before he was going to enter the game. If you didn't know about this, usually a week or so before a season of Big Brother starts, Every player is kept under surveillance in a hotel not far from the Big Brother house and is watched over by a handler. They can't interact with the outside world at all, and it's basically a prep for the actual game while the preseason promotions are released to the public with all of the information about the cast and the house and whatnot. Brandon has a really amusing and bizarre story that I will link in the description that results in him getting taken off of the cast by the producers after he tries to repeatedly break out of his hotel room and contact his girlfriend to talk to her. What happened next was four different attempts to escape for a quick meetup, one involving him using his bathrobe to climb down a second story balcony, another by contacting the people staying across the hall from him, a third by cutting open the wall of his room with a butter knife to find a phone jack in the room next door to him and make a call through that. And then lastly, by asking the maid for help. But then the maid snitched on him and the producers kicked him off the show and the rest is just an incredible story. On Big Brother 11, we saw Chima get removed by the producers after she got really upset at them for implementing a massive game-breaking twist in the house that directly resulted in her losing her HOH power and having one of her closest allies get evicted the same week. Chima was not happy with this BS and acted accordingly, lashing out at the producers by covering the cameras with blankets, ignoring their requests and demands, and eventually throwing her microphone in the pool and destroying it. This continual behavior had pushed the producers to a breaking point and they decided to remove Chima from the game for not cooperating with them. As unfair as that twist was, and as bad as I felt for Chima from a gameplay perspective, I think this poll is understandable. Big Brother isn't and has never been fair, no matter how much I wish it were, but you gotta roll with the punches. And unfortunately, the producers have a bigger glove. And then lastly, oh man, we have the final expulsion from the show. It is Willie Hance on Big Brother 14. Willie was the brother of Survivor player Russell Hance, and CBS was all about the Hance family for a couple of years during this era. Willie became the first HOH of the season and kind of got power hungry, major HOH-itis during his reign. He tried to turn on the returning player veterans, form a newbie pact, then targeted Frank for eviction, only to have the tables turned on him when the rest of the house rallied behind Frank and kept him in the game. This left Willie in a bad position strategically and going into the following week, he was the primary target for eviction. But because of his bad attitude and the realization that his game was sunk as early as week two, he instead took it upon himself to lash out and go down swinging. Take one for the team, I guess. After getting really bitter at the state of his game, he got aggressive with another player, Joe, and then had a physical altercation with him in the bathroom. He shoved Joe, a bit of a headbutt, and physical violence is not usually tolerated by the producers. While we have seen physical altercations happen in the past, I think Willie's insistence on getting into a fight, basically looking for one around every corner, his plan at this point was to get expelled, and I think he got his wish. Sometimes it's not just what you do, but the context around it as well. I hope you go home this week. Okay. I hope everybody changes their votes and you go home because you're a shady. I'm not a shady. I'm a straight talking. I'm not gonna be awkward. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not and when gonna I be come awkward in, either. When I come in and get something to eat, I'm gonna sit down there and eat some food, Fruit Loops or whatever, cause I'm a, cause that's what I want to do. And I'm gonna come out here and smoke, and I don't give a f who's out here. Eat your Fruit Loops. I ain't worried about it. I'm gonna make a DiGiorno. Would anyone want to split it? <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of is in this bitch. You're the only yeah, I see, bro. What? What's that? What'd you say? What'd you say? Hey, What'd you hey, say? Hey, 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 hit me! Hey, hit me! Hey, hit me! Hey, hit me! Hey, what the you say? Bring it up. Get apart. I also want to mention Big Brother 23, the latest season as of this video, where we saw several more of these players pop up. Christy was removed from the final cast in the preseason after she tested positive for COVID-19 a few days before the live move-in premiere. We also saw another player named Garrett who was in the main cast and had his photo uploaded to the CBS website 
only to then get strangely replaced with Christian. It turns out Christian, who did make it into the house, was the alternate for Garrett. I don't know why Garrett left or was possibly removed, but had he not been, he would be on that season. I do know there were more alternates for the entire series, many of whom made it onto the show, such as Joe from BB14, McRae on BB15, Hayden on BB16, Clay on BB17, Bronte on BB18, Christy on BB21, and Claire on BB23. There's likely more, but they all made it onto the show, so I'm not as interested in them for this video. And that's it. That is the bizarre history of all of the quitters, expulsions, and alternate players in Big Brother history. There's a lot to be said about all of this, and I wouldn't be surprised if there are even more names out there waiting to be uncovered, more stories left to be told, but for now, we stop the dinosaur ride here. Let me know what you guys think about these players, these stories, this history. A huge thank you to my patrons for not quitting on me, or asking to be expelled, or any of the above. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to not blow your chances at being on the show on your way out, and I will see you in the next one once I create a fantasy cast of all of these players. Producers, All Stars 3, anyone? I put the knife right here. I don't touch it. I put the knife right here and I go, would you get mad if I killed you? She's smiling and she goes, go for it. And then I go put it, we're laughing, we kissed again, and I put the knife away. Now, if there's anyone that could perceive that as an act of violence or as a threat, then you're an idiot.